Seattle Seahawks taking on the Denver Broncos and uh, Seattle is uh, favored by six. The over under on this one, 41 and a half thoughts on this one. I don't, I don't like this number. Um, so for Seattle to cover, they have to win the game by a touchdown. And I don't think they're going to win the game by a touchdown. Um, so I'm going to take the Broncos by default because of that. I am going to take the over, though. I think the Denver's offense showed me just enough in the preseason that I expect them to be able to put some points up on the board. Um, so regardless of what you think about the game, if you think the Broncos can get to 23, that means most likely we're over. Right. Right. And and I do. I think the Broncos can find a way to get to 23. So that tells me that the game is is over. Yeah. And, and I mean, realistically, I think if the Broncos get to even 20, like that, that over gets carried over on this one. Right. Like, so it's, and and so I'm right there with you on that train of thought. I really like the over on this one. Um, and I think you're right. I think we saw just enough out of the uh, Broncos offense here during the preseason and, and that we can, we, we could anticipate that getting to, to 20 plus points in this one. So I do think that this is a field goal game when it's all said and done. Um, so I'm going to take Denver with the points. I'm going to take the over. I, I think this one, when it's all said and done is probably a, 23 to 20, 21, 24 type of type of ordeal. Um, one of the props that I really liked, and I, I just felt like this one was incredibly low with um, how I think we're going to see this Broncos offense run was Bo Nix going over 200.5 passing yards. Uh, this might be one of those that we don't necessarily see this picked up in chunks, but, uh, but it wouldn't surprise me when we look up at the end of this game and we see Bo Nix near a 70% completion percentage, and he just dinked and dunked five to six yards down the field all game long and uh, and managed to put together uh, enough of those to, to go over 200 yards. Yeah, yeah. I think as long as he's converting third third downs, the Broncos faithful will stay off of him and give him a, give him a bit of time to learn here. So I'm going to kind of parlay with yours. I'm taking Javante Williams over two and a half receptions. I think it's going to be a little bit more difficult for them to run the ball in this game, which, you know, is to be expected in Seattle, you know, all the things. But I I also think Javante is going to get involved in the pass game a little bit more this year, um, at least to some extent. But I think three receptions is well within the realm of possibilities. 